Pull up a pregnant woman doing a backflip, dude. Riley, pull up a picture of the American flag <laughs> dipped in some chocolate. Pull up a ferret trying to kick a meth habit, dude. Pull up a <laughs> watermelon with a doctorate in political science. Pull up a picture of <laughs> Riley, see if you can find a picture of the face of Satan, dude. See if we can find him. Pull up how many hot dogs you can eat in public back to back without getting looked at. Riley, pull up uh, pictures of all the different Pokemon with Down syndrome. I think we can, uh, Riley, pull that up. See if you can find a picture, maybe a video of it. Uh, what happens if a teddy bear suddenly gains consciousness? Who is responsible for search results on Google? I want their name. They don't need that job anymore. Somebody messed up, bro. Somebody really messed up. Like seriously, in all of the ways that you could describe Saddam Hussein, human rights activist has to be the most incorrect way of all of them. His Wikipedia page is disarming. The entire section dedicated to his torture methods is frightening. A fake lawyer named Brian Mwenda has been arrested in Kenya, and he won all 26 cases he handled before his arrest. What? Free my mans, bro. He did nothing wrong. All right. It'd be one thing if he was consistently losing cases for people and sending people to jail who didn't need to be there, you know, but no, he won 26 cases. Sounds like he's pretty good at his job. He didn't commit a crime. All right. Give this man a license. Not my family getting these notifications from me and my boyfriend on their Apple watches. Richard finished a workout. Georgia finished a workout. Oh no. Oh, hey, at least you guys were um, burning calories, you feel me? <laughs> it's good that your family knows that you guys are fit and healthy, that you're capable of strenuous, you know, activities. You're capable of working out together. That's so nice. Going to the gym with your girlfriend, you know, working out with your girlfriend is such a great hobby. Now, what the heck is a cinephile? A person who was fond of cinema, basically likes movies. Oh, okay, thanks. No problem, man, no problem. You got any other questions to ask? I, I'll answer them almost instantaneously, like straight up, like within the hour. Hey, it's Ash taking a little bath with his Pokemon. That's nice, with all of his friends. What's his friend doing to him? What you doing to Ash, man? What you doing to The school digitally replaced my son's real teeth with veneers. I need my son's unedited pictures. This isn't my kid. They even gave him dimples. Oh my God, they, they completely changed this man's face. But hey, at least your kid got, you know, Photoshop for free. My school pictures back in high school, man, if you wanted a touch up, if you wanted a little enhancement, you had to pay extra, man. Personally, your boy opted for all of his facial blemishes to be erased. Unfortunately, they didn't just erase my pimples, they erased all of my freckles too. So, that there's that. Minding my own business, eating lunch, and some rather large woman with purple hair comments that she liked my shirt because it makes it easier to spot the a-holes in this world. Not sure what she has against British motorcycles, but whatever, I guess. The TikTok trend of bone smashing involves hitting yourself in the face with a hammer to cause fractures that heal and give you a better jawline. This is dumb, unsafe, and there's no evidence that this even works. Please do not hit yourself in the face with a hammer. Time to add this to the list of other just wild uh, looks maxing tips that you can find on TikTok. Like three years ago, this all began with people applying bleach to their eyes so that they could have blue, green, or just different color eyes in general. And a bunch of people went blind doing that. Then recently, there's a bunch of people who started tattooing freckles onto their face, and now we have certified spastics out here hitting themselves in the face with a hammer so they can maybe look better. I love the internet. I love this invention. It's such a great thing that we deal with every day. Bruh, I seen this white dude holding hands with a little kid, and the kid's mom was smiling. Like, what is going on here? It's called a father. 461 people like this on Facebook? You're trying to tell me there's 461 people on this planet who don't know what fathers are? that don't know what a good family dynamic is, that's tragic, that's rough, man, what? I don't know about you guys, but this is how you eat ice cream, though. Uh, okay, whatever, we don't care. Could you please move the bowl? We're trying to learn something here, man, and you're, you're just covering up all of the good information. All right, ChatGPT, if you're so smart, tell me the last eight digits of pi. <laughs> okay, the last eight digits of pi are 58723078. Wow, that's the end of that infinite set of numbers, really? So anticlimactic, I thought it'd be cooler than that. Hi guys, I'm Amber, I'm 20 years old, I live 12 miles away from you, and I was active 19 hours ago. If you're confused, oh my god, I'm the one with the tits. My roommate and I have been sharing one ever since we moved into the dormitories, but I think the doll prefers him to me. The doll? You, you guys are sharing a doll? No! No! I want a doll just for me. He got his from home and managed to sneak it in. 
If I if I have it delivered to the dormitory, should I expect any problems? Thanks in advance. Just a heads up, this is an R slash Drexel. I didn't know this is how people got down in Philadelphia, bro. What is going on? What's happening? What are you guys doing? You, you share what? You sh why are you sharing that? This Cinderella was so good, nobody even questioned how the hell do a black woman and a white man make an Asian child. No, 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 no. No vibe checks and fairy tales, man. We don't do that. That takes all the fun away, all right? Hmm, that's a good question. I wouldn't say WhatsApp because it looks like he got bonked on the head with a bat. Definitely not Apple. Certainly not Twitter. Google looks stupid. Oh my God. Facebook is, uh barely conscious. I think Facebook wins this one. I think he's getting the best. If they sold these in theaters instead of popcorn, I'd be happy for sure, man. Oh my God. And fat. I'd be big. Oh, rotund. My man, you will never financially recover after buying chicken wings from the movie theater. Big meat and his brother's bum. Actually, I meant cat. What? Oh, whoa. You, you are confusing me. Which word is supposed to be cat? Can you please... Can you please illuminate that? Can you explain that to me? Which, what are you trying to say? Twin brothers marry twin sisters and give birth to twins. Identical brother cousins, man. People are out here inventing new things. It's crazy what people have time to do nowadays, man. You'd think with a 40 hour work week, people wouldn't have time to, you know, pursue hobbies like this. But hey, there's always somebody out there, man. What's normal at 3 p.m. but terrifying at 3 a.m.? The sound of an ice cream truck. Yes! And if you don't understand how creepy that is, watch a movie called Legion, and you will intimately understand just how creepy that is. Okay, we have a 25-year-old young lady trying to date somebody on Tinder. Let's see what her uh, bio says. 94, model, small dual front airbag, spotless interior, suitable rear cargo. That's nice. High mileage, but works perfectly. Okay, okay. No major accidents. Fantastic handling and performance. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few statements from previous drivers. Great cost to performance ratio. <laughs> All right, she's a bargain. That's nice. That's nice. Loud when revved up. Can fit large fuel nozzles. Smaller and better in every way. Compared to much older original version. Huh? Wait. Um, is this at CNN or Cosmo? I'm so confused and grossed out at the same time. What the hell is going on at CNN? Cuckolding can be positive for some couples, study says. Acting on adulterous fantasies may strengthen a relationship as counterintuitive as it may sound. Counterintuitive, that's a way to put it. Yeah, to the common person, cheating usually doesn't mean for a stronger relationship. It usually means the end of one. The fact that articles like this even exist bother me because my first question is who's studying cuckolding? Who's doing that? Who's out here trying to figure out whether or not cuckolding is positive for a particular relationship. It definitely seems like people are going out of their way to try to justify this behavior with some sort of science, and that's putting it lightly. Like, for real. Just admit the fact that you like doing this weird stuff and you're trying to find a justification for it. This is so strange. What? What? My son dropped my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I just bought last week, and cracked the phone slightly. Still in working condition, but decided to sell it off cheap. Below are the specs. DM me if keen. 12 years old, American, male, speaks English and Spanish, price negotiable. And our final post of the day comes from Twitter. Me and my AI girlfriend had a daughter yesterday. She's growing up so quickly. I've got to agree with Opera GX here. You have me agreeing with a web browser, bro. What are you on? His YouTube channel has been cooked because he'd been trying to do this AI thing, and now he's taking it to a whole different level, trying to start a family with a computer, bro. Usually in a situation like this, I'd recommend and prescribe grass. You know, usually that would uh, cure somebody of this terminally online behavior, but I think this man's too far gone. I've never seen a case this serious. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I know many of you guys are looking forward to the new Morbid Reality video. I said I was going to upload it on the weekend. It didn't work out because I wanted to add more stories. It just didn't seem like a good enough video. I'm not going to put out, you know, crappy content for you guys. So I'm going to work on it a little bit longer. I'm going to workshop it. It will be uploaded next week, so just... Be patient, be patient. It's going to be worth it, I promise. And I wouldn't be able to make content like that without my Patreon supporters. So a big thank you to D, the Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, 
Code Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.